Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. I'm bringing you guys the latest and the hottest. And March 4th can't come here soon enough. It goes down New York. I'm looking forward to this fight, man. That's Danny Garcia versus Keith. You better not duck me, Thun. One time Thurman. Great fight. It's a good day for fight fans in general. You also have Tyron Woodley versus Wonder Boy. That rematch is taking place and over the UK side of things. A heavyweight bout between David Hay and Tony Bellew. They've been trash talking it up. Um, you guys seen the title of this video. Danny Swift Garcia for his preparation. He's enlisted the service and the help and getting some rounds in with an undefeated top rank fighter. Almost a 70% knockout ratio. It's a 67% knockout ratio out of all of his fights, out of his 15 fights. And he comes from New Jersey. Fights out of the welterweight division, five foot nine inches. And his name is Julian Hammerhands Rodriguez. Now, I've been hip to him. I think I was following him on Instagram or something rather. And um, shout out to Mikey Shop. Mikey shot you, Mikey Williams. He's a photographer I know from top rank, does good work. And I've seen some of his uh, shots of, of Rodriguez. And you guys seen the clip at the beginning. That was him. That was Rodriguez at the beginning. And I like this. I like this move from Danny Garcia. Obviously, if you guys know anything about fighting and sparring and stuff, you're never going to get somebody who's 100% unless it's like Jermel and Jamal Charlo. And even that, even though they're twins, they don't even fight 100% identical. You know what I mean? And one's taller. So point being is sparring is sparring. You get someone with a clever enough style or a style that is has enough similarities or someone is just going to overall push you. Like Adrian Broner in his fight for uh, with Marcos Maidana. He, the guy he's fighting now, Adrian Granados, that was his sparring partner. Two tough, rugged guys, you know what I mean, come forward, action, good, respectable power, and now Broner's fighting Maidana Jr., basically, in Granados, and that's what you do. So I like this move from Danny Garcia, getting some rounds in. The kid's young. I mean, Rodriguez, he's 22 years old. He doesn't have any significant, real big names. Jerry Belmontes is probably like the biggest name. He gave Omar Figueroa a tough fight, but... That's probably the biggest name on, on Hammerhands' resume. But he, he's being groomed. He's coming up through top rank. He only has 15 fights. So, I mean, of course, not everyone that is going to have huge, massive names. But that doesn't change the work. It could still be good work. It's a guy with punching power. It's a guy who is younger than Danny Garcia, 22. I think he has um, solid hand speed, stuff like that. You guys seen the clip at the beginning. So, to prepare for Keith Thurman, am I saying... Obviously, Keith Thurman's career is more advanced and he's fought a Sean Porter versus Julian Rodriguez is, is more in the contender upcoming prospect stage. But good work is good work. So I, I think I like this from Danny Garcia, just working with a young kid who has um, some heavy hands, it looks like. And even though he doesn't have the resume to back it, I think they're probably getting some good work. In, and that's what Danny Garcia needs. He is now truly a welterweight he's given himself i believe three fights paulie malinaji roberto or robert guerrero and then the tune-up fight with samuel vargas to acclimate now this is for all the marbles against the best welterweight he's faced since he's moved up to welterweight keith one time thurman a wba champion and a guy who has fought diego chavez fought 
against Sean Porter, Jesus Soto Carras. He's, he's been in there with good names. Good names. You know what I mean? Especially his last fight, Sean Porter. That was a fight of the year type. So I like this from Danny Garcia. Getting in good work. I've seen some pictures. You posted a picture. Danny Garcia looks like he's 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 starting to fill out in in the welterweight category. And some of you guys don't some of you guys don't know. That's why I do the ego weight watcher. Some of you guys don't know how to judge physiques and bodies. You'd be like, oh, this person looks great for the weight. But you have to look at certain things like like when when Kell Brook was fighting Golovkin. A lot of people were like, oh, they're the same size. And I could clearly see that they weren't. You got to know what to look for. You look at Golovkin's back when he's, when he's like wearing a suit versus Kell Brook when they were wearing the suit. You could see the shoulders. Golovkin's shoulders look a lot more broad. And his just back looks way wider than Kell Brook. You know what I mean? But people look at heights and stuff like that. You got to know what you're looking at. And I could honestly say in the last two fights, Danny Garcia looks like he's he's actually feeling out and and looking more like a sturdy, sturdy build at welterweight. He already had a, a good height in comparison to to like the Keith Thurman's and stuff. I think he might be 5'9". That's what his sparring partner, Julian Hammerhead, Hammerhands Rodriguez is. I think they're both listed about five, five, eight, five, nine, something like that. But it, it looks like he's filling out to the division, which is what I like to see because he's going to have to. Keith Thurman is a hell of a fighter. Same thing with Robert Guerrero. When he, when, watch the fight. Watch Robert Guerrero versus Celtic Iden. That's when he jumped up to, he, he battled cancer with his wife or helped her through that process. And he jumped up two weight classes like Broner did versus Pauli Malignaggi. And he did not look like a welterweight to me. Like he had the frame to be a welterweight, but as he kept fighting guys like the Birdo and then got to Mayweather and then fighting against Keith Thurman and Aaron Martinez, he looked bigger and bigger as a welterweight. He started to fill in more. And I think that's what we're getting here with Danny Garcia. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's a all or nothing type of fight. Somebody's O has to go. And I like to see that the fighters are taking it serious, getting good work. I haven't really seen much from the Keith Thurman side. He's done a couple of posts just like, I can't wait. Whose time is it? I haven't really seen any like updated progress, ego weight watchers, pictures or anything. Um, there's a, a, a boxing team that I know that's based out of Florida and they interviewed him. So I got to check them out. Shout out to my dudes and um, see if they heard anything or just kind of see what they saw and get some intel for you guys. But March 4th, it goes down. I'm really looking forward to this. Danny Garcia, he has big, big shoes to fill. A lot of people feel he's the underdog. And I think on the sports books, he's the underdog. His dad definitely adds to that because he, he, he got people talking with the N word rant and, saying all this and that so it's he has to live up to it danny garcia is the one in there with keith thurman and again they're both good fighters i'll drop a seven reasons i'm trying to get make the time for it but i'm i'm just overall looking forward to a great fight and i think danny garcia he's, he's doing the right thing by fighting the young tough guys that are going to give him good work in the gym here's another note for you guys another march fight the guy that i'm talking about julian hammer hands rodriguez he has his own fight. He's going to be on the, the Mick Connellan, the guy from Ireland who just uh, came out of competing in the 2016 Rio Olympics. I believe Rodriguez is going to be on that card on March 17th, which is a big deal. Madison Square Garden, and it's on St. Paddy's Day weekend. So the Irish are going to be turned, and it's going to be lit out there. So this is the perfect timing because it's, it's better like this because they're both helping each other for March fights. Obviously, Garcia comes first because he's fighting March 4th against Thurman. But then on March 17th, you have uh, Julian Hammerhand Rodriguez, who's fighting on that, that Connellan card, which is going to be huge for for Irish fans and, and just in general because it's his pro debut. Mike, uh, Mick Connellan, Michael Connellan, he just signed with top rank. He was the one that had the, the beef with the AIBAA or whatever, and he was flipping off the cameras after... He got robbed in his Olympic fight, and I do think it was a robbery. So it just works out perfectly because now you know both guys are going to push each other because they're both they're trying to get the best possible work for their own individual fights. On top of that, helping each other. So I think it's a smart move from Danny Garcia. Get a fellow East Coast dude who's in the division, who's young, youthful, heavy hands, and has another March fight coming up on a, a big card just like him in New York. So 
they're helping each other out helping each other prepare can't knock the hustle let me know what you guys think danny garcia getting some it looks like some grade a work in the sparring department for his biggest test maybe even career wise and that's keith one time thurman i don't know lucas matisse there's a, there's a lot of people that were favored to beat danny garcia so you guys let me know if you think this is garcia's biggest test bigger than amir khan and lucas matisse zab judah things like that eric morales Drop it in the comment section. Make sure you share the video, like the video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.